A new program called Masks for Mothers launched this morning to provide pregnant women with masks or face coverings. It's a joint effort with a collaborative called SODAT. And as Heath Allen shows us, the mask will go to a population considered vulnerable for far too long. We are here at X Health on the West Bank right now. They tried to do this a little while ago and it got rained out. Well, I guess it got rained on this morning. We're talking about masks for moms. And on this table here, hundreds, literally hundreds of masks that are being provided for basically women who are pregnant, getting ready to have a child, and it's uh, every every woman should have the right to have a mask. Uh, but this is a vulnerable And every population. woman should have a right to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. And you're talking, we're talking about a vulnerable population, you yes, say? Yeah. Yes, I think women of color have um, much more negative outcomes, especially when you talk about maternal mortality All rates, than, than their white counterparts. And we have to really pay attention to that. This is a really good way to focus on that. It's also a way that the community come, can come together in support of this population, right? And so the great, the great thing is that a lot of these masks are made by local seamstresses. And so um, we applaud them and we applaud people coming together to support our, our mothers and their babies. Where is, uh, Veronica, talk to me a little bit. This is Dr. Veronica Gillespie from here at XL. Talk a little bit about how important this is, especially for the population we're talking about. It is so important. As the councilwoman said, uh, we have a disparate uh, outcome amongst our black women. Um, in our state, four black women die at a rate of every one white woman. We also know that for severe maternal morbidity, which is a precursor to mortality, that a black woman with a graduate degree is two times more likely to experience a severe maternal morbidity than a white woman with an eighth grade education. So we, we're talking about some severe disparities in outcomes. And this is uh, a step in the right direction to make sure all women, um, but especially our, our women that may be socioeconomically disadvantaged and not be able to afford face coverings, have one provided for them free. There you go. So again, here at XHealth, with a, a donation, if you will, from SODAT, is that sure, correct? Yeah. yeah. Look at all these masks out here. So pregnant, getting ready to have a, a child, every woman should be able to have a mask. Every woman should be able to have a healthy kid. And that's what we're talking about here, guys. Back to you. Hey, thank you. Tulane University researchers 